What's up, good? On in celebration of Gym Body TMC website launch, I'm doing business readings for each signs. Before I launched Gym Body, I did a reading on um, if it would be successful. And I did this before I even met the lady that I got the lease from for the retail store. So the concept was in my mind and I decided to see what spirit had to say about it and I got good energy from it. So I decided to give it a try and put my effort into it and it was something that I felt passionate about that I wanted to do. So if you have a business, this is a general reading, you may or may not resonate with it. But if you're Libra and you have a business idea and you would like a business reading, um, I do comprehensive business readings for $77 where you would get the reading and an action plan attached to it. Basically putting to writing what spirit had to say in an action plan for you to act on it. Then I have, um, you could also just order a regular business reading in regards to um, your business. So far the overall energy for this business reading we have anxiety. We have a man holding a heart under it. And we have all tied up. So I don't know why I'm grabbing this deck, but I'll use this deck. So this just means that maybe, you know what, I won't use this deck. I want to be a little bit more professional with these business readings. So anyway, you could be having some sort of feeling, anxiety from, or feeling tied up, or and feeling anxiety based on performance or based on something about your idea or your business is causing you anxiety maybe everything is all over the place I did just drop these cards um, all over the place so maybe things are not in order and you're feeling tied up and it's giving you anxiety and um, we'll stop it there and I'll pull some more cards it annoys me so much when I drop these cards it really does I be feeling like, like, why am I dropping cards? Like, is it a reversal that I need off the deck? Like, what is it? So anyway, Spirit, what is this Libra business? Why is this Libra all tied up? So we have Justice on the bottom of the deck, and we have Ace of Cups right under it. So you can expect things will come together for you. Um, you will find balance in your business. Things will come together for you. So whatever, anytime you have anxiety about something, it's, it's a lack of trust in spirit. It's a lack of control. It's, it's something lacking. And it's causing you anxiety because you don't see the future or you don't see how it's going to work. But sometimes you just have to trust and everything will work out. You have justice on the bottom of the deck. So this could signify a legal matter or this could just signify, yeah, you have anxiety right now, but you just need to find balance within yourself and your business and everything will get back in order. The first card that we have, and I'll take these cards, um, and I'll just flip them over as we go. We have these came out. So, first one we have is the Queen of Pentacles, um, in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a lack of financial stability. It's a lack of control. It's, it's a lack of emotional, not emotion, but a lack of just solidness. So maybe. You know, your business has not reached a level of financial stability and it's causing you some sort of anxiety or it's having some sort of problems. Hold on. Sorry, my phone interrupted me and I have orders coming in. So sometimes I just stop what I'm doing to make sure it's like nobody trying to place an order or having an issue with the order. I really need to meet my goal. But anyway, so there can be some type of... In, imbalance or instability in your business as it pertains to finances, as it pertains to order, as it pertains to control. When I think of the Queen of Pentacles, I think order, control, st stable, balance, like a, a woman, like a feminine energy, but also a masculine energy, a person that has his or her shit together. So the business could be some sort of, in some sort of transition and not necessarily balanced at this time, but that's not the end of the world. It just means that Again, with justice on the bottom of the deck, figure out what it is that you can do to bring order and balance into your business. Ooh, then we have Ten of Pentacles. So this is good. When you get the Ten of Pentacles in a reading, you need me, son? We, you sure? You want me to put the camera on you so that I can see you dancing? 
when you see the Ten of Pentacles in a reading, it can signify, you know, this business is going to the next level. So that's a good, that's good energy to have for a business reading. It's like, once you find this balance and order in your business and your energies, first of all, it's your energies because you have anxiety and all tied up. So find balance within your energies and, and, and things will then transition into find order and balance in your business and also in your personal energy and your business will be taken to the next level knight of pentacles continue to hard work continue to be get dedicated to your goals once you know okay this business has the capability be to be taken to the next level you just work on it continuously work on your business until it manifests this next level manifests and then you work on the next level um stink a little i need you to what are you doing? Eat so you can go to bed on time today. You have school tomorrow. Okay? Then we have the star. Guys! It's almost, I'm happy being a Libra right now. And I, make, I need to make sure my resonating with this anxiety and all tied up energy. I know that I need to establish order in my business. It's just starting literally. Like, it's... Within a week, I met this woman, and I have this business, and I have a retail, I have a lease, and I have bills. So I understand being in a position of not <laughs> being of not under having control or being in anxiety and feeling all tied up because finances. You know, when you're not bringing money in, you first bring your money out when it goes into a business. So you have to have the money to bring out, and it can cause anxiety. But relax, everything is going to be okay. Your business will be taken to the next level. Continue to work towards your goals. And then we have the star bringing recognition, the star bringing energy and vitality. So put your energy, work towards your goals in an energetic manner because it's going to attract, um, it's going to attract. An audience is almost what it is. But nothing irritates. It's so irritating, excuse me, for people to be watching your business and not supporting it. It's like, you know, you put an ad on Instagram or Facebook or whatever or Google and people are clicking on the ad, clicking on it just to fucking look. Like, get your looking ass the fuck up out of here. I need customers because those looks cost money. But this is more resonating with being energized and balanced, but also being put out there. You, you're putting your out, you're burying yourself. By doing this, look at the, the star. She's naked. But it's like burying your truth and putting yourself out there to be seen and your business out there to be seen regardless of performance. So you're brave. You're brave as well. And I've done it as well as, as I started my blog, my entrepreneur blog, starting with Gym Body, showing, you know, the beginning to the end. Look at that, guys. I Oh, I want to resonate with this reading. <laughs> okay, Libra, so you have Ace of Pentacles. So this is a blessing. So as you're working towards your goals, you're going to increase. As you're putting yourself out there and continuously working on your goals, and you prepare your business for the next level, as it enters the next level, you have blessings financially. People are going to become, this is a customer with a coin. This is abundant blessings and many hands coming to you um, for your product or service. That is, that is, oh, yes. Okay. Then we have five of pentacles. But I'm not resonating with, um, I'm not resonating with lack. I'm resonating with changing this queen of pentacles in reverse energy to, um, upside down because you have next level you have work you have recognition and you have abundance so this can't mean lack this is probably getting out of lack let's see what the next card is absolutely 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 Ooh, okay interesting interesting so this is releasing lack or being in re-energized financially or getting out of the place of lack because you have opportunities here and you have customers coming in so this isn't like a failure this i'm not resonating with failure or business loss i'm resonating with revitalizing your finances and bringing more money in and i'm not resonating with um five of pentacles um loss then we have competition of course when you're in good business competition comes but let me um see what spirit has to say about this five of pentacles because you know 
Is it something that we need to know now that we can prevent? Like, what is this Five of Pentacles? I feel like it's walking away from like, I feel like opportunities are going to be abundant. And you want, you want to experience lack anymore. So Four of Swords resonates with manifestation. Two of Pentacles resonates with balance um, of priority. The sun also resonates with manifestation. So are we manifesting and we're getting out of lack? Are we getting re-energized? What are we are we losing anything, spirit? What are we losing? Like what is this? Are we losing anything? Yes, there's competition. We're manifesting abundance. We're entering the next level, the next phase. But what is this? Um they keep talking about manifestation. The Empress is creation. The sun is manifesting as well. The four of swords also resonates, especially with the toast deck, um, also resonates with manifestation. And then another two. Maybe it's about balance. But I just don't understand why the they would release this five of pentacles card in this deck. We've already talked about, you know, business expenses. We get that. And there is competition as well, okay? Any business has competition, especially when it's performing well and when you're manifesting and you're creating. So, what's this Five of Swords? Still a good reading overall. Still good energy. Entering in that space. You're working towards your goals. You have recognition. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. Then you have the Knight of Swords as it pertains to... Uh, ooh, my stomach almost shot. As it pertains to this Five of Swords. So, there's competition and you're ready for battle. You're not giving in to the competition. You'll be prepared to fight. But keep fighting. You have judgment on the bottom of the deck now. Judgment is receiving. Judgment is um, receiving from the divine. You may even get a partner. Because right on the judgment, you have the king and the queen of wands. And you have the knight of pentacles. Let's put judgment down. Let me show you. King and the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. You might get a partner. And when your partner comes in, it's going to help you with your, your business. Hmm. So you'll be prepared for battle. So whenever this com competition comes in, you're going to fight it. Uh, but again, when you're creating and manifesting, we got triple manifestation energy. We actually have quadruple manifestation energy with the Empress, the Sun, and the Four of Swords in the, um, okay, we have triple manifestation energy. But anyway, as you're doing this, as you're creating, as you're manifesting, you're overcoming lack and you're overcoming loss. But competition comes in. And five is also the number of God's grace, though. So you will overcome. You're built for this and you'll fight it off. And it won't be an issue. It'll be a non-issue for you. Sometimes some people are worried about competition because, honestly, it irritates me. When I do something and I'm, you know, if you inspire somebody, you inspire somebody. But like when I was doing daily energy readings on IGTV, then it's like, oh, I'm going to start doing this. I find all of a sudden all these channels are doing them as well. It can be irritating, especially when I'm such a small channel and I'm trying to grow. And these channels have much more subscribers. You know, Google is not banning their channel for no reason or banning their ad accounts. But, you know, they have all these subscribers and copy little old me. It can be irritating. If, to feel that way, to feel like that's happening. But, you know, when you're good at something, people copy you. Take it as um, confirmation that you're doing the right things. But anyway, this is enough for this Libra with the business reading. What I would say to this Libra is put your affair, get your affairs in order. We have Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck now. And Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten. You got ten, ten in your business reading. That's dope. Entering new phase, entering new levels. You got the Ten of Pentacles twice. So I would say continue this business. Why? Because it's taking you to the next phase of life. So whatever that is for you, if you are a worker right now and you start a business, it's taking you now to entrepreneurship, to your phase of entrepreneurship. Does it look like it's going to be easy? It looks like it's going to be abundant. 
But I don't know what easy. I'm not. I'm not gonna say easy because you have competition com coming in, and um, you may have to overcome some sort of loss or some sort of lack. But you're manifesting. You're you're heavy in a masculine energy, and you're getting out of this tied up energy and this anxiety, and you're entering the next phase of life. You got people watching you. You're gonna be recognized, and opportunities are gonna flow to you. Customers are going to flow to you, and it looks like it's going to be abundant with how this looks here in this Ace of Pentacles. So continue work hard towards your goals, um, and things will work out for you. You know, you have judgment in this reading, too, so you're going to be receiving. It looks like you'll be receiving. You got justice and judgment. To me, both of those cards signify balance and also receiving sometimes. So yeah, find balance in your internal energies. Don't let your anxiety stagnate your business. Don't let your worries stagnate your business. Remain free. Submit your, petition your request. Let's petition right now. Let's pray. Let's petition spirit of the Lord for increase and overflow in our business, for insight and clarity, for easiness. And when I say easiness, I mean calmness of spirit, for balance of our masculine feminine energies, that we pray that our businesses are taken to the next level and that we handle it with care and we handle it, handle it with strategy and we make the right business decisions and that we are flooded with an influx of customers and opportunity and we value those and we have equal give and take and we provide value, value to our customers and we receive value. I pray over your business, I pray over your ideas, and I pray over your ability to manifest whatever it is you desire from this business. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more light.